Here's how to easily troubleshoot and update your charging system. When your battery isn't staying charged, first check the stator for AC between all three output wires. If one or more gives a low reading, then it's shorted out internally and it needs to be replaced. The connectors will also give you a hint. These ones are not good. If you do see consistent AC from the stator, then just your regulator rectifier is cooked and it's time to upgrade it. Most bikes come with what's called a shunt type regulator rectifier, which is basically a little heater combined with poor airflow, and it's just a matter of time before they burn up. So if your bike has one of these, you can upgrade it to one of the two newer types. There's the MOSFET type, which is an improved version that still shunts to regulate voltage, but it does it more efficiently. And the series type. These work differently by opening the stator circuit when target voltage is reached. In other words, rapidly turning it on and off so they don't produce nearly as much heat. Thankfully, you can buy these for pretty cheap if you know what to look for. I made this chart of part numbers to help you find the best one for your bike. They're pretty much universal. Oh, and make sure to grab a connector kit to install it. They're super easy to hook up. Just connect the three wires from the stator into the three-prong connector in any order and run the ground wire straight to the battery's negative terminal and hot to positive through a fuse. This bypasses the wiring harness, which can have resistance in it. And now you should see a steady voltage of around 13 at idle and a little over 14 max. I hope this helps and ride safe.